you're looking up at the night sky. It's vast, cold, silent. A thousand points of light blink from beyond the darkness. But what if one of those lights isn't just another distant sun? What if, around that star, there's a planet? A planet with clouds, oceans, air. A planet where something might be alive. This isn't science fiction. This is real, and it just happened. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected something extraordinary on a planet more than 120 light years away. Its name is K-18b, and it might be the first place beyond Earth where we found real signs of life. Not little green men, not alien civilizations, but something just as powerful, chemistry. Inside the atmosphere of this distant world, scientists found molecules. Molecules that on Earth are linked to living things. Things like methane, carbon dioxide, and most intriguing of all, dimethyl sulfide. Never heard of it? Dimethyl sulfide is produced almost entirely by life on Earth. It comes from plankton in the oceans. Tiny living organisms releasing invisible gases into the air. So what is it doing? 120 light years away. Before we go further, let's understand the kind of planet we're talking about. K218b is not another Earth. It's bigger, almost 2.6 times the size of our world. It's classified as a Hyson planet a type of world with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and possible oceans beneath. Hyson planets are relatively new in our understanding of the cosmos. They're not rocky like Earth and not gas giants like Jupiter. They're somewhere in between. And according to some models, they might be even better than Earth for supporting life. Think about that. We've spent decades searching for another Earth twin. But what if we were looking for the wrong kind of planet? What if the best candidates for life aren't Earth-like at all? K218b orbits a red dwarf star in the constellation Leo. Its star is smaller and cooler than our Sun. And yet, this planet lies in the habitable zone, the sweet spot where liquid water could exist. Water, atmosphere, organic molecules. That's the holy trinity when it comes to searching for life. And K218b has them all. Using spectroscopy, essentially breaking light into its component colors, scientists analyzed the starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere. Each molecule absorbs light in a unique way, like a fingerprint. And in K218b's light, those fingerprints revealed a possible story. A story of chemistry. A story of life. But before we get too excited, let's ask a question. What does it really mean to find these molecules? After all, molecules like methane and carbon dioxide can be produced by geological processes too. Volcanoes. Chemical reactions. They don't prove life. Not yet. But dimethyl sulfide? That's different. On Earth, it has only one known source. Biology. If this detection is confirmed, it would be the strongest biosignature ever found beyond our planet. Still, science demands caution. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And right now we have a hint, not a confirmation. But even a hint is enough to change everything. Because it means we're getting closer. Closer to answering the biggest question humanity has ever asked. Are we alone? We've spent centuries wondering. And now we may be standing on the edge of the answer. This is not just a discovery. It's a moment in history. But before we can truly grasp what's happening on K218b, we need to understand what it means to even search for life on other planets. What are scientists really looking for? They're not aiming telescopes into space, hoping to catch a glimpse of aliens walking on another surface. The search is far more subtle and far more powerful. It begins with biosignatures. These are chemical clues, patterns in a planet's atmosphere that, on Earth, are typically associated with life. Think of it like this. If you walk into a room and smell freshly baked bread, you don't need to see the baker to know someone's been there. That smell is a signature, evidence of presence. In the same way, molecules like oxygen, ozone, methane, and especially dimethyl sulfide can act like scents from across the universe. They don't guarantee life, but they suggest the possibility and K218b is the most promising whiff we've ever detected. 
But how is that even possible from over 100 light years away? It all comes down to the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in 2021, it's the most powerful space observatory humanity has ever built. With its infrared vision, it can peer through dust across time and into the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. When a planet passes in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through its atmosphere. The molecules in that atmosphere absorb specific wavelengths of light, leaving behind telltale signatures. James Webb detects those tiny dips in light, and from them, we build a picture of what the atmosphere contains. With K218b, that picture looks extraordinary. But here's where things get complicated. K218b is likely covered in a thick, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. That makes it more difficult to compare directly with Earth. The pressure, the temperature, the chemistry, it's all very different. Could life really exist in such alien conditions? The answer is, we don't know. Not yet. But that's what makes this discovery so thrilling. Because for the first time, we're seriously considering life on a world that is nothing like our own. This opens the door to a new way of thinking. Maybe life doesn't need an Earth-like planet. Maybe it can emerge in places we've barely considered. Maybe our definition of habitable has been far too narrow. Think of the extremophiles on Earth. Organisms that thrive in boiling acid at the bottom of oceans in radioactive waste. If life can exist there, why not in the clouds of a Hyson world? And what's even more mind-blowing, K218b may be just the beginning. There are billions of stars in our galaxy. Most of them have planets. Many of those planets lie in the habitable zone. And now we know some of them may even show biosignatures. The tools we're using today are just the start. In the next few decades, more powerful telescopes will launch. They'll be able to directly image exoplanets, to study their weather, to listen for radio signals. We are on the brink of a revolution in our understanding of life in the universe. And this planet, this strange, wet, distant world, might be our first glimpse into that future. So as we stare deeper into the night sky, one thing becomes clear. The search for life is no longer a dream. It's a process. It's a science. It's happening right now. Let's take a closer look at what kind of planet K218b actually is. It's not a rocky world like Earth, nor a gas giant like Jupiter. It falls into a relatively new category of exoplanets, Hyson planets. Hycean is a blend of hydrogen and ocean. These planets are thought to have vast liquid oceans beneath thick, hydrogen-rich atmospheres. And K218b might be the first real example we found. It's about 8.6 times the mass of Earth, what scientists call a super-Earth, or mini-Neptune. And it orbits a red dwarf star in the habitable zone, the region where temperatures might allow for liquid water. But size and location alone don't make a planet habitable. What makes K218b fascinating is what's in its air. James Webb has detected carbon-bearing molecules like methane and carbon dioxide. But the real shock, possible traces of dimethyl sulfide. On Earth, Dimethyl sulfide is only produced by life, specifically by phytoplankton in the oceans. There is no known non-biological process that makes it. So if this signal is confirmed, we may be staring at the first chemical fingerprint of alien life. Of course, we have to be cautious. Data like this is delicate. There are still questions about how clear the signal is and whether it could be explained by unknown chemical reactions in exotic atmospheres. But that's the nature of discovery. We find a clue. We test it. We debate it. We refine our models. That's how science works. And each new discovery peels back another layer of mystery. Think about what this means. We're not just asking, is there life out there? We're now asking, is this life? It's no longer a hypothetical. It's a measurement, a data point, a possibility grounded in real science. And if life can arise in such a strange, distant world, what does that say about the universe? Maybe the question isn't, are we alone? Maybe it's, how could we ever think we were? So what happens next? Scientists around the world are now racing to verify the data. More observations will be made. More instruments will be pointed at K218b. 
And if that mysterious chemical fingerprint is confirmed, dimethyl sulfide or something like it, it will spark one of the greatest revolutions in human history. The confirmation of alien life. Not green men with flying saucers, but microbes. Simple life. Life that began in a place entirely unlike Earth. It would mean that life is not a fluke, not an accident, but something that the universe does when the conditions are right. It would raise questions we're not ready to answer. Are there more planets like this? Could intelligent life evolve on them? What does this mean for our place in the cosmos? But for now, one truth remains. In a patch of sky in the constellation Leo, over 120 light years away, there's a planet with oceans and clouds, and possibly, just possibly, the chemistry of life. We may not be able to visit it, we may not get answers tomorrow. But with each discovery, we get closer to something profound. A universe where we are not the only story. And that changes everything.